Okay, this video is about some moves that good riders do in real uh, horsemanship ways of riding. There are some moves that only good riders do. As I said before, when bad riders cannot do it, cannot achieve it, they say bad things about it. As I said before, they say bad things about it by saying it's bad for the horse. They cannot say it's bad for us. We are not good enough to do it. They will not admit. So, when it's bad for them, they say it's bad for the horse. When it's good for them, they say it's good for the horse. For example, the full stop. Making your horse give you a full stop from gallop or a fast canter is something that only good riders achieve. Like for real, for 10 horses or 9 horses you ride, you make them give you a full stop at any time. Only good riders can achieve that. Now, why only good riders achieve it? Because it's impossible to achieve it by using strength. It's impossible to achieve it by doing something wrong. Now, if I say it's impossible to achieve it by doing something wrong or by using strength, that means you can look for it for yourself or do it for yourself. Bring someone strong and ask him to do it and he will not be able to do it. So, if we agree that it's impossible to achieve it by using strength, then it's not bad for the horse. When they told you it's bad for the horse, ask them why. They say it's because of strength. You are using strength and the strength will hurt the horse. Okay, we proved you wrong. It's impossible to do it by using strength. Show us if you say so. He did not show you. So, if I'm not using strength to do it, it's not painful. It's not hurting the horse. Now, what I want to talk about is something that will prove to you that they are real liars or that they are real idiots. Think about it. The ones who say bad things about the full stop or some moves in some good ways of riding are horse racing people, endurance riding people, or show jumpers. So, in your sports, in what you do, 70% or 50% of your horses have real injuries because of your sport. In flat racing, endurance riding, and sometimes in show jumping, most of their horses will be injured. In the tendon, in the joints, in the muscle, they will have some injuries. That's a fact. And they say bad things about some moves in some good ways of riding. They say it will hurt the horse. 100% of the horses who did this move with the good rider did not have any injuries. 100% are injury free. Injury free. They are not injured. They are not being hurt. There is no pain from what they are doing as good riders. Your horses, 70% of them have real injuries, real issues. So people in glass houses should not throw stones at people. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Why is it a big, big, big problem? Because when I lie to you and you are that dumb, you are stupid to that point that you will believe anything without proving myself, without giving you an evidence, then I will lie to you. A liar will not stop lying if you don't ask him for a proof. A thief will keep stealing if you don't give him a punishment for what he did. We don't punish him for what he did. So it's very simple. One, if you say something bad about something, prove to me that you can do it, then stop doing it, then we will talk about it. Two, if you want me to talk about it even though he did not do it, okay, I will talk about it. 70% of their horses are injured. 100% of the horses who give you full stops are not being injured because of the full stop. Maybe they will be injured. They will have some injuries, but it's not directly from the full stop. If you say so, prove it. No way. So, I'm giving you an evidence, a fact, that what they say is not just wrong, it's completely the opposite of the truth. Then, what they say came from their failure. When they are not good enough to do something, they say bad things about it. Because they will not admit that they are not good enough to do it. It's that simple. People in glass houses should not throw stones at people. In their case, they are living in glass houses and this glass is broken and they are throwing rocks at people. So, it makes no sense at all. Again, a liar will keep lying if you are an idiot. A 
liar will keep lying if you are stupid and you don't want to change that. So that's my thing about this issue or this method.